I'm, I'm guessing the sun's going to come up right over there, isn't it? Somewhere over there, like where those yep. rays are, I'm uh -huh. guessing. There's some more of the resorts next to ours. around along the beach and look at shells, I guess. Not too many here, so I find that truck to I think he's lying. Don't believe him. They're everywhere. Big and little ones. Mostly white. That's the predominant color. You see all the shells on this beach. Lots and lots of shells. Someone made some beach art here. Really pretty from over here. The sun casts some shadows on it. Hmm. It looks like something real with this. You think so? I think she would do something like that also. She's used to silhouette because the sun is right behind her. Anyway, she's hoping the water won't get up and she'll wait for it. For a while, yeah. So they're not too afraid of us. There they go. Wednesday morning, we, we just ate breakfast at the Lighthouse Cafe. I had whole wheat pancakes with uh, maple syrup that was from Vermont and scrambled eggs and a soda. Couldn't resist. And you had... I had French toast. French toast. Yep. It was very good. And the coffee. Yeah, the coffee was really good. After breakfast, we went over to Captiva Island. The video we took was dizzying because we were traveling at 35 to 40 miles per hour. Take my word for it, the house and views of the water were pretty. We did a little souvenir shopping too. I got a shirt and Daryl bought a cap. Two bicycles, so Rita's gonna take me out on the town before we're going. Um, we're gonna go out here to this crossway here. We're just gonna go left if there's a if there's a bike path okay. and just see where it takes because we haven't gone that way yet today or since we've been on the island. Okay. So that's where we'll start. All right. Well, I was going good and Rita had to stop. She got tired. Yes. She's trying to map our walk or map our route or whatever. Then we'll be back on our way. And yes, here I am on my bicycle. That's proof. We are here. Where's Don there's Donick Street. Yeah. So we started back here. Right. And we're only to here. So, so if we cross, that takes you right back. Takes you back to Periwinkle. But we can keep going down and go back to Periwinkle. 
keep going down that path. I'm gonna get me a drink of water. There's our bikes. We haven't worn them out yet. I think our I think we're okay on that. There's Rita up in front, trying to stay up with us. Go ahead. Keep going. Go. I'm sweating, I don't know about you. I'm sweating a little bit too, but it's been a good ride. I don't have any clue how far we've gone. Let me see. If it, if it tells us if we've been half a mile. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it says we've been 2.39 miles. I don't quite believe it. Out for 30 oh. minutes since I've been timing it, but I find that hard to believe. Maybe I've been weeping a bunch and it's adding yeah. a lot on there. But we can check with our map later on when we get back to the sea. For sure, if it was two miles or more. All right. So away we go. Off we go. We, we survived. My map, my walk says like four miles maybe, but I didn't even turn my map, my walk on until after we had started. So we might've did five miles, but I'll double check that a little later. And we survived. Yeah. Thanks for watching our day at Sanibel Island. This was day five of our vacation. Check out days one through four to get caught up. Day six will be posted soon, so stay tuned. Hey, if you like this video, let us know by hitting that like button. And please consider subscribing to our channel. We would really appreciate it.